guys. Welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you're one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Let's walk through each answer choice. Cognitive symptoms are those that involve issues with your thinking, aka your cognition. And this might include issues with your attention, organizing, or planning abilities. Negative symptoms are those that include things that were taken away from you that you had previously. For instance, if you previously had emotion, it's a blunting of emotion. If you previously had an interest in activities, it's a loss of that interest. These are things that happen to people with schizophrenia. They're losing something that they previously enjoyed. The final type of symptom are positive symptoms. And these include issues such as hallucinations and delusions. We're adding something that was not there before. And this is the case here. Therefore, answer choice D is the best answer. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We will see you next time.